you can fight for the user and build this 3D printed Tron inspired prop using NeoPixel LEDs in CircuitPython. Powered by the Adafruit Feather and PropMaker Featherwing, this Tron disc and back harness are fully 3D printed. With the power of neodymium magnets, this disc attaches to your back just like in the movies. Using a mobile device and the Bluefruit app, you can change the color of the LEDs so it's easy to switch your team color. With the Bluefruit app for iOS devices, you can even use an Apple Watch to change colors with the built-in color swatches. The PropMaker Featherwing and Feather Bluefruit are the perfect pair for making advanced props with motion-activated lights and sounds that can be controlled wirelessly from your phone. The code is written in Adafruit CircuitPython, so it's easy to make it fit just about any prop with lights and sounds. It uses Bluetooth and the LED animation library to trigger lighting effects with the prop maker's onboard accelerometer. Check out the learn guide for full step-by-step -step tutorial on building this project and download all the files using the project bundle downloader. You can customize values like the speed and colors to make this fit your project. CircuitPython supports lots of different dev boards. Just go to the website and search to find your favorite microcontroller. You can download the latest stable version using the download UF2 button and quickly get up and running. Get the parts to build your own Tron inspired disc from the Adafruit shop. Links are in the description. Download and 3D print the parts without any support using black and translucent colored PLA filament. Start by soldering matching headers to the dev boards. You can use a breadboard to help you solder them straight. Use short socket header pins to keep it slim and low profile, perfect for props with tight spaces. The feather blue fruit is secured to the bottom piece of the prop using hardware screws. A mini skinny strip of medium density NeoPixels are set on the outer edge of the disc. Cut the strip to size and remove the silicone sheathing by sliding it out. A strip of side lit NeoPixels is soldered in line with the mini skinny strip and shares data, power, and ground connections. A 3 pin JC connector allows it to plug into the prop maker featherwing. This micro USB breakout board allows you to route the USB connection to the edge of the prop so it's easy to access for recharging the battery. Use silicone ribbon wire to create a super compact USB cable. A mini oval speaker plugs directly into the audio port on board the PropMaker Featherwing and snaps into the built-in holder. This slide switch is soldered to the enable and ground pins on the PropMaker so the feather can be turned on and off. A JST extension cable connects the battery to the port on the feather and the battery clips into the built-in holder. New Dinium magnets fit into the built-in cavities and get secured with 3D printed caps that snap fit and hold them in place. The LED strips are tacked down using double-sided foam tape. The top cover of the prop can then be placed over the bottom cover. Nylon screws are inserted through the holes on the side of the disc and keep everything secured. An accompanying back cover with magnets are sewn into a running vest using nylon thread or fishing line. We had a lot of fun building this project and had a great time taking it to the Tron Light Cycle Run at the Magic Kingdom in Disney World. We hope this inspires you to check out Adafruit's Prop Maker and CircuitPython for your next project.